Okay, uh, okay guys, today we have a book and this book is uh, written by Bill Gates and the name of this book is How to Avoid, uh, to avoid a Climate Disaster. Uh, he said that uh, this sound uh, this sound difficult because it will be the world has never done anything quite this big. Actually, he want uh, he want to say that it will be a challenging as it sounds. Uh, there has never been a project this size in the world. Okay, uh, according to him, uh, that every year, every year. 51 billion uh, uh, a billion tons of uh, greenhouse gases are added to our atmosphere with the number still increasing and zero zero is, uh, is the amount we need to aim for in order to stop the climate change uh, you know first uh, let me explain what is greenhouse gases uh, before we gonna start uh, the proper review of this book greenhouse gases is actually let me write here greenhouse gases greenhouse gases is a gases that produce uh, the greenhouse effect by absorbing and emitting heat and infrared radiation and we have uh, like uh, if you take carbon dioxide, H2O vapors, you know water vapors, we call water vapors and we have methane, CH4 and uh, other gases like N2O and ozone etc. Okay, these are, so you know these are the uh, uh, water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, uh, nitrous oxide, ozone, or the planet's main greenhouse gases. Okay, these are the greenhouse gases which are emitted up uh, 21 billion every every year to the atmosphere, according to Bill Gates. He's written in this book. Uh, now he identifies some issues uh, in his books, and these uh, uh, f he said that what is the causes of the global global warming and how. Uh, he some he gives some remedial action uh, that we need to do uh, before the uh, you know the disaster comes to to avoid the climate disaster we need to do some uh, something remedial action. Uh, the first thing he said in his book he said that how we plug in what does it mean how we plug in <clears throat> you know. Uh, contrary uh, you know, to the popular belief uh, that emission caused by car traffic and aviation only make up around 16%. Uh, uh, 16%, right? Uh, of all the greenhouse gases uh, emitted. So, I mean, if you take the whole uh, greenhouse gases emitted to the atmosphere, then 16% will be from car traffic and aviation okay so the remaining 84 percent if you take them the remaining 84 percent of them are caused by the production of food electricity and and building materials as well as air conditioning so the first one we have here is how we plug in this is all about electricity you know when generating electricity then it caused about 27% of the greenhouse gas emission. Uh, today, fossil fuels account for two-thirds of all electricity generated worldwide. So getting all this energy from clean resources required breakthrough in science, for example, in nuclear fusion and carbon capture. So, uh, you know, because the sun doesn't always shine and, and, and the wind uh, doesn't always blow, so we also need more efficient batteries to store solar and wind generating electricity. The second thing he explained in his book is how we make things. Okay. So a new production of plastic, uh, uh, concrete and uh, steel causing about 31% uh, of greenhouse gases emissions. So according to him, uh, by two, uh, 2060, urbanization will, uh, will have approximately double 
uh, that is equivalent of footing up another New York uh, city which is located in the uh, USA uh, every month. So currently the only way to make the concrete and steel involve tremendous carbon, em uh, carbon emissions. Uh, we need to uh, electrify this process and use material more efficiently. Uh, then he, uh, he talked about uh, uh, how we grow things. Uh, you know, the food production uh, causes, uh, according to him, causing about 19% of the greenhouse gas emissions. And agriculture, the main culprit isn't uh, as carbon dioxide, but also methane. I mean, the people think that carbon dioxide uh, is, uh, is, is the main culprit uh, that causing uh, uh, that greenhouse gases, uh, greenhouse effect. But it's uh, uh, not the case. Uh, we have also other gas that is methane, okay? Uh, it causes uh, 28 times more warming for molecules than carbon. It's uh, according to him that it's uh, that methane causing 28% uh, more warming than carbon uh, than carbon. So as funny as sound that 4% of the global warming is due to cow cow farting and buffering methane. So mean that 4% of uh, 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 warming is caused by the cow farting and uh, um, buffering methane okay so uh, to lure uh, lure these uh, numbers we need to eat more plant based and waste less food okay uh, then the fourth thing uh, uh, he discussed in his book that how we get around so you know vehicle uh, traffic cars uh, 16 person i have told you before 16 person of uh, Greenhouse gas emission for short distance vehicle like cars and buses going all electric is an inefficient alternative to gasoline. Long distance vehicle like trucks and plants might have to switch to advanced bio or electrofuels. A ship could re, uh, rely more on atomic energy like plenty of submarines and, and aircraft carriers do. And the fifth thing he explained in the book that how we keep cool and warm. Uh, you know, this is all about air conditioning. That, uh, you know, air conditioning causing 71, uh, so, sorry, 7% seven, uh, according to him of greenhouse gases emission. So with climate change warming the earth more and more, and so the AC demand is on the rise. The biggest problem here are the coolant used to transfer the heat, uh, especially a cheap S unit, so called the fluorine gas, F gases, you call F gases, leak out into the atmosphere, accelerating global warming. So, government policy and incentive are needed uh, for more climate friendly devices to be put and serviced. These five things, he explained in his book, that cause the uh, global warming. And he also gives some uh, remedial action that we uh, need to take to overcome uh, this uh, uh, disaster. Okay. Uh, the first thing uh, I have explained you that uh, the global warming caused by how we plug in. Then also I give you, because this uh, make about 27 percent. How we make the things the 31 percent. Uh, 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 yeah greenhouse gases emission from the how we make things then he explained his book that how we grow things and then how we get around and how we keep cool and warm so all these five things cause the global warming and for that we need some remedial action so this is actually the review of this book which has been written by the uh, bill gates how to avoid a climate disaster